Moscow is the capital of Russia and the country's economic, financial, educational, and transportation center. It is located on the Moscow River in the Central Federal District in the European part of Russia. The most populous city in Europe, Metropolitan Moscow has a population of close to 12 million, which constitutes about 7% of the total Russian population. Historically, it was the capital of the former Soviet Union and the Grand Duchy of Moscow, the pre-imperial Russian state. It is the site of the Kremlin, which now serves as the ceremonial residence of the President of Russia. Moscow is world-renowned for its architecture and its performing arts. It is well known for the elegant onion domes of St. Basil's Cathedral as well as the Cathedral of Christ, the Savior and the Seven Sisters. The Patriarch of Moscow serves as the head of the Russian Orthodox Church. Moscow also remains a major economic center and is home to a large number of billionaires. It is home to many scientific and educational institutions as well as numerous sports facilities. It possesses a complex transport system that includes the world's busiest metro system, which is famous for its architecture. Moscow also hosted the 1980 Summer Olympics. The city is named after the river, literally the city by the Moscow River. The origin of the name is unknown, although several theories exist. The most reliable theory is that the name derives from Finno Ugric Moskva tribe who lived along the Moskva River. Their main settlement was named Moskova, which suggests some connections to Karelia and Shudis. One theory suggests that the source of the name is an ancient Phoenic language in which it means dark and turbid. Alternatively, the name may come from the Finno Permic Kami language meaning cow river or from Finno Volgic Mordovian language meaning bear river. The oldest evidence of humans in the area where Moscow now stands dates from the Stone Age. Within the modern bounds of the city, a burial ground of the Fatyanovskoya culture has been discovered, as well as evidence of early Iron Age settlements of the Akoskaya culture on the grounds of Kremlin, Sparrow Hills, Senum River, and Kunsevsky Forest Park. At the end of the first millennium CE, the territory of Moscow and the Moscow Oblast was inhabited by the Slavic tribes of Vyatichi and Krivichi. By the end of the 11th century, Moscow was a small town with a feudal center and trade suburb situated at the mouth of the Neglinaya River. The first written reference to Moscow dates from 1147, when it was an obscure town in a small province inhabited mostly by Maria, speakers of a now extinct Phoenic language. Yuri Dolgroki called upon the prince of Novgorod Republic to Come to me, brother, to Moscow. In 1156, Prince Yuri Dolgroki of Kiev ordered the construction of a moat and a wooden wall which had to be rebuilt multiple times to surround the emerging city. After the sacking of 1237 to 1238, when the Mongol Khanate of the Golden Horde burned the city to the ground and killed its inhabitants, Moscow recovered and became the capital of an independence principality in 1327. Its favorable position on the headwaters of the Volga River contributed to a steady expansion. Moscow developed into a stable and prosperous principality which attracted a large number of refugees from across Russia. Under Ivan I, the city replaced Tver as capital of Vladimir Suzdal and became the sole collector of taxes for the Mongol Tatar rulers. By paying a large amount of tribute, Ivan won an important concession from the Khan. Unlike other principalities, Moscow was not divided among his son but was passed intact to his eldest. In 1380, Prince Dmitry Donskoy of Moscow led a united Russian army to an important victory over the Tatars in the Battle of Kulikovo. Although this victory is regarded as historically important, it was not decisive. After two years of battle, Moscow was completely destroyed by Khan Taktumish. In 1480, Ivan III had finally broke the Russians free from Tatar control, allowing Moscow to become the center of power in Russia. 
Ivan III relocated the Russian capital to Moscow, previous capitals were Kiev and Vladimir, and the city became the capital of an empire that would eventually encompass all of present-day Russia and other lands. In 1571, the Tatars from the Krim Khanate seized and burned Moscow. From 1610 through 1612, troops of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth occupied Moscow as its ruler Sigismund III tried to take the Russian throne. In 1609, the Swedish-Finnish army led by Count Jakobus de la Gardie, Lazy Yako, and Evert Horn started its march from Veliki Novgorod toward Moscow to help Tsar Vesala Shutsky crush an internal uprising. They entered Moscow in 1610 and suppressed the rebellion against Tsar, but after they left early in 1611, the Polish-Lithuanian army invaded. In 1611, Moscow suffered a great fire. In 1612, the people of Nizhny Novgorod and other Russian cities conducted by Prince Dmitry Pozharsky and Kuzma Minin rose against the Polish occupants, besieged the Kremlin and expelled them. In 1613, the Zinsky Sobor elected Michael Romanov Tsar, establishing the Romanov dynasty. The 17th century was rich in popular uprisings such as the liberation of Moscow from the Polish-Lithuanian invaders 1612, the Salt Riots, 1648, the Cooper Riot, 1662, and the Moscow Uprising of 1682. The city ceased to be Russia's capital in 1712 after the founding of St. Petersburg by Peter the Great on the Baltic coast in 1703. When Napoleon invaded Russia in 1812, the Moscowites burned the city and evacuated as Napoleon's forces were approaching on September 14th. Napoleon's army, however, plagued by hunger, cold, and poor supply lines, was forced to retreat and was almost destroyed by Russian military forces. In January 1905, the institution of the city governor or mayor was officially introduced in Moscow and Alexander Adrianov became Moscow's first official mayor. Following the success of the Russian Revolution of 1917, on March 12, 1918, Moscow became the capital of the Russian Soviet Federative Socialist Republic, later the Soviet Union. During the Great Patriotic War, the part of World War II after German invasion in the USSR in 1941, the Soviet State Committee of Defense and the General Staff of the Red Army was located in Moscow. In 1941, 16 divisions of the National Volunteers, more than 160,000 people, 25 battalions, 18,500 soldiers, and 4 engineering regiments were formed among the Moscowites. In November 1941, German Army Group Center was stopped at the outskirts of the city and then driven off the course of the Battle of Moscow. Many factories were evacuated together with much of the government, and from October 20th, the city was declared to be under siege. Its remaining inhabitants built and manned anti-tank defenses while the city was bombarded from the air. It is of some note that Stalin refused to leave the city, meaning the general staff and the council of people's commissars remained in the city as well. Despite the siege and the bombing, the construction of Moscow's metro system, which began in the early 1930s, continued through the war and by the end of the war several new metro lines were opened. On May 1, 1944, a medal for the defense of Moscow and in 1947, another medal in memory of the 800th anniversary of Moscow were instituted. On May 8, 1965, in commemoration of the 20th anniversary of the victory in World War II, Moscow was one of 12 Soviet cities awarded the title of Hero City. In 1991, Moscow was the scene of a coup attempt by the government members opposed to the reforms of Mikhail Gorbachev. When the USSR was dissolved in the same year, Moscow continued to be the capital of Russia. Since then, the emergence of a market economy in Moscow has produced an explosion of Western-style retailing, services, architecture, and lifestyles. The population of Moscow is rapidly increasing. The ubiquitous presence of legal and illegal permanent and temporary migrants, plus merging suburbs, raises the total population to about 13.5 million people. 
According to 2010 Russian census, the population of the city proper was 11,689,000. However, this figure only takes into account legal residents, and not the several million estimated illegal immigrants and gastarbiters living in the city. Moscow is home to an estimated 1.5 million Muslims, including about 100,000 Chechens and between 50,000 and 150,000 Chinese. Substantial numbers of internal migrants mean that Moscow's population is increasing, whereas the population of many other Russian cities is in decline. Migrants are attracted by Moscow's strong economy, which contrasts sharply with the stagnation in many other parts of Russia. In order to help regulate population growth, Moscow has an internal passport system that prohibits non-residents from staying in the capital for more than 90 days without registration. Moscow is the seat of power for the Russian Federation. At the center of the city, in central administrative okrug, is the Moscow Kremlin, which houses the home of the President of Russia as well as many of the facilities for the national government. This includes numerous military headquarters and the headquarters of the Moscow Military District. Moscow, like with any national capital, also hosts all of the foreign embassies and diplomats representing a multitude of nations in Russia. Along with St. Petersburg, Moscow is designated as one of only two federal cities within Russia. The entire city of Moscow is headed by one mayor. Moscow is exposed to cold winters, warm and mild summers, and very brief spring and autumn seasons. Typical high temperatures in the warm month of July and August are around 72 degrees Fahrenheit. In the winter, temperatures normally drop to approximately 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The highest temperature ever recorded was 100.8 degrees Fahrenheit, and the lowest ever recorded minus 43.96 degrees Fahrenheit in January 1940. Due to the significant variation in temperature between the winter and summer months as well as the limited fluctuation in precipitation levels during the summer, Moscow is considered to be within a continental climate zone. A significant portion of Russia's financial development is concentrated in Moscow as many multinational corporations have branches and offices in the city. The plush offices and the life size of corporate employees in Moscow are almost indistinguishable from those of any Western European city. Since the Russian financial crisis in late 1998, various business sectors in Moscow have experienced an exponential rates of growth. Many new business centers and office buildings have been built in recent years, but Moscow still experiences shortages in office space. As a result, many former industrial and research facilities are being renovated into offices. In 2006, Forbes ranked Moscow second highest in number of billionaires surpassed only by New York City. In 2004, Russia's 36 billionaires held the equivalent of 24% of Russia's gross domestic product. The nouveau rich, also called the New Russians, often pejoratively have a reputation for flaunting their wealth. The avenues for doing so have also increased in recent times and a sense of fashion and self-consciousness has instilled itself through the many haute coutures and haute cuisine spots in Moscow. While the overall stability of Moscow has improved in the recent years, crime and corruption continue to remain a problem hindering business development. Moscow International Business Center MIBC, or Moscow City is a commercial development at the western edge of the central district of the city. Geographically, situated in Presnansky district, the Moscow City area is currently under intense development. The project, conceived by the Moscow government in 1992, is intended to create a zone within the city that will combine business activity, living space, and entertainment. The whole project takes up one square kilometer. For a long time, the skyline of Moscow was dominated by numerous Orthodox churches. The look of the city changed drastically during Soviet times. 
mostly due to Joseph Stalin, who oversaw a large scale effort to modernize the city. He introduced broad avenues and roadways, some of them over 10 lanes wide, but he also destroyed a great number of historically significant architectural works. The Sukarov Tower, as well as numerous mansions and stores lining the major streets and various works of religious architecture such as the Kazan Cathedral and the Cathedral of Christ the Savior were all destroyed during Stalin's rule. During the 1990s, however, both the latter were rebuilt. Architect Vladimir Shukov was responsible for building several of Moscow's landmarks during early Soviet Russia. The Shukov Tower, just one of many hyperboloid towers designed by Shukov, was built between 1990 and 1922 as a transmission tower for a Russian broadcasting company. Shukov also left a lasting legacy for the constructivist architecture of early Soviet Russia. He designed spacious elongated shop galleries, most notably the upper trade roads and red square bridged with innovative metal and gas vaults. Stalin, however, is also credited with building the Seven Sisters comprising seven cathedral-like structures. A defining feature of Moscow's skyline, their imposing form was allegedly inspired by the Manhattan Municipal Building in New York City, and their style with intricate exteriors and a large central spire has been described as a Stalinist Gothic architecture. All seven towers can be seen from most elevations in the city. They are among the tallest constructions in central Moscow apart from the Ostankino Tower, which when it was completed in 1967 was the tallest freestanding land structure in the world and today remains the tallest in Europe. Moscow's museums and galleries with their collections are some of the largest and most important in the world. Frequent art exhibitions of both new and classic painting, photography and sculpture thrives as they once did in pre-revolutionary times. Moscow is also the center for Russian performing arts including film and ballet. There are 93 theaters, 132 cinemas and 24 concert halls in Moscow. Moscow International Performance Arts Center, opened in 2003, also known as Moscow International House of Music, is known for its performances in classical music. It also has the largest organ in Russia. There are also two large circuses in Moscow, Moscow State Circus and Moscow Circus on Sevednoy Boulevard, named after Yuri Nikolin. Moscow has always been a popular destination for tourists. Some of the better known attractions include the city's UNESCO World Heritage Site, Moscow Kremlin and Red Square which was built between the 14th and 17th centuries. Kolomenskoy is another popular attraction with its UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Church of the Ascension which dates from 1532. Other popular attractions include the Moscow Zoo, home to nearly a thousand species and more than 6,500 specimens. During the summer, the extended hours of daylight allow more time to visit the wealth of historical, cultural and popular sites in Moscow. Moscow possesses a large number of sports facilities. It is home to 63 stadiums, of which Luzhniki Stadium is the largest and the fourth largest in Europe. 40 other sport complexes are located within the city, including 24 with artificial ice. There are also 7 horse racing tracks in Moscow, of which Central Moscow Hippodrome, founded in 1834, is the largest. Moscow was the host city of the 1980 Summer Olympics, although the yachting events were held at Tallinn in present-day Estonia. Large athletic facilities and the main international airport were built in preparation for the 1980 Summer Olympics. Football or soccer is probably the most popular spectator sport among the young followed by ice hockey. Clubs such as Dynamo, CSKA, Lokomotiv and Spartak are prominent on the European stage and the members of Russian Premier League. Because of Moscow's cold locale, winter sports have a large following as well. Many of Moscow's large parks offer marked trails for skiers and frozen pond and canals for skaters. Moscow also hosts the annual Kremlin Cup, a popular tennis tournament on both the WTA and ATP tours. 
It is regarded as a very prestigious tournament and is one of the 10 tier 1 events on the women's tour. Every year it features a host of Russian players. Moscow has a vibrant nightlife. One of the most popular nightlife areas is around Tverskaya Street. The southern part of Tverskaya Street near the Manege Square and the Red Square area is known for its many expensive, luxurious bars and restaurants and is considered to be a playground for new Russians and celebrities. This street is also one of the busiest shopping streets in Moscow. The adjoining Tretiakovsky Proyezd, also south of the Tvereskaya Street, is host to upscale boutique stores such as Bulgari, Tiffany & Company, Armani, Prada & Bentley. Many famous nightclubs and casinos such as Metalitsa are located along Novi Arbat Street. There are 1,696 high schools in Moscow, as well as 91 colleges. Besides these, 222 institutions offer higher education in Moscow, including 60 state universities and the Lamanasev Moscow State University, which was founded in 1755. The university main building located in Verbiovi Guri is 787 feet tall and when completed was the tallest building outside the United States. The university has over 30,000 undergraduates and 7,000 postgraduate students who have a choice of 29 faculties and 450 departments of study. Additionally, approximately 10,000 high school students take courses at the university, while over 2,000 researchers work. The Moscow State University Library contains over 9 million books, making it one of the largest libraries in all of Russia. Moscow is known as one of the most important centers for science in Russia. The headquarters of the Russian Academy of Sciences as well as numerous research and applied science institutions are located in Moscow. The Kurjadev Institute, Russia's leading research and development institution in the field of nuclear energy, where the first nuclear reactor in Europe was built, Landau Institute for Theoretical Physics, Institute for Theoretical and Experimental Physics, Kabitza Institute for Physical Problems and Steglev Institute of Mathematics are all situated in Moscow. There are 452 libraries in the city, including 168 for children. The Russian State Library, RSL, founded in 1862, is the National Library of Russia. It is the largest library in Russia and the second largest in the world. It has 36 reading rooms and space for more than 1,500 people to study. The library's holdings exceeds 46 million items, and about 3 million of them are particularly valuable editions and other documents. In addition to its unique domestic collections, it also has foreign collections in 367 languages. There are four primary international airports serving Moscow. Sheremetyevo International Airport, Domodedovo International Airport, the largest airport in Russia in terms of passenger traffic, Venokovo International Airport, and Zhukovsky International Airport. There are also several smaller airports near Moscow intended for private aircraft, helicopters, and charters. Moscow employs several train stations to serve the city. All of Moscow's nine rail terminals are located close to the city center, but they each handle trains from different parts of Europe and Asia. There are also many smaller railway stations in Moscow. As trains are relatively cheap, they are the mode of travel preferred by Russians, especially when departing to St. Petersburg, Russia's second largest city. Moscow is also the western terminus of the Trans-Siberian Railway, which traverses nearly 5,779 miles of territory to Vladivostok. Moscow also has two passenger terminals on the river and regular ship routes and cruises along Moscow and Oka River which are used mostly for entertainment. Local transport includes the Moscow Metro, a metro system famous for its arts, murals, mosaics, and ornate chandeliers. The system had just one line when it first opened in 1935 but contains 12 lines today, 
mostly underground with a total of 172 stations. Park Puberty, completed in 2003, is the deepest metro station in the world and contains the longest escalators in Europe. The Moscow Metro is one of the world's busiest metro systems, serving more than 7 million passengers daily. There is also a monorail line operated by the same company. In recent years, explosive growth in the number of cars has caused traffic jams and the lack of parking space to become major problems. Over 2.6 million automobiles are driven in the city on a daily basis. Moscow is the headquarters of nearly all Russian nationwide television network, radio stations, newspapers and magazines. English language media includes the Moscow Times, Expert, Commerçant, and Gazeta are Russian language media headquartered in Moscow. Expert and Commerçant are among the country's leading and oldest Russian language business newspapers. Other notable media of Moscow include the Echo of Moscow, the first Soviet and Russian private news radio and information agency, and NTV, one of the first privately owned Russian television stations.